what about the differentiation of sin a into cos x means d by dx of sin a into cos x sin a into cos x here sin a into cos x means product of two terms are there but look here sin a is constant and a is constant sin a is constant and cos x is have the variable x therefore it does not belong to the category of product formula for product formula both u and v must be the function of x means both must have the variable x therefore so sin a is constant product formula is not necessary here sin a constant outside sin a outside into d by dx of cos x because that's equals to sin a into what is the differentiation of cos x minus sin x okay product formula is not necessary okay because here in product formula u is to be u and v should have x but here this is not x means this is a constant it is constant and this is having only variable therefore this particular function belongs to the category of constant into function therefore constant outside into differentiation of function okay now cos x differentiation is minus sin x okay so u into v is not necessary here so whenever two terms are in product form both should have the variable x otherwise if one is constant and another one is having the variable then no need of product formula simply it is the differentiation of constant into function okay uh, now let us go to the very very important formula of differentiation these are all basic formula of differentiation you have studied all these things in the first year only okay not yet second year syllabus is started okay after the question formula i will start the second year syllabus now question formula of differentiation what do we question quotient ratio means division okay quotient formula of differentiation quotient formula of differentiation dr f is differentiation okay if u and v are the functions of x again u and v are the functions of x means they should have the variable x okay if u and v are the functions of x are the functions of x means are the terms in x in lessons are the terms in x or the mathematical expressions having x okay functions of x then d by dx of u upon v okay u upon v is equal to here whole divided by v square in the denominator it is v square in the numerator v denominator into differentiation of denom numerator so numerator minus numerator here comes minus not plus numerator into d by dx of denominator so d by dx of u upon v is equal to whole divided by v square it is v to d by dx of u minus u into d by dx of v okay or one and the same or d by dx of numerator denominator is equal to whole divided by denominator the dr is denominator the whole square here the denominator is to be taken first dr into d by dx of numerator minus numerator into d by dx of denominator where numerator and denominator are the functions of x okay where numerator nr and dr are the functions of x are the functions of x okay this is the one question formula let us take one or two examples of this question formula 
okay first one d by dx so for example first one d by dx of x plus 1 upon x plus 2 okay here numerator is x plus 1 denominator v is x plus 2 both are the functions in x means equations in x therefore I can apply the quotient formula that's equals to whole divided by here it is x plus 2 the whole square in the denominator denominator the whole square in the numerator denominator x plus 2 into d by dx of numerator x plus 1 minus numerator into d by dx of denominator x plus 2. Now here comes the differentiation of x plus 1 and x plus 2. We have to differentiate x plus 1 and x plus 2. A simple differentiation, I will put it aside. To get d by dx of x plus 1, it is x equals to d by dx of x plus d by dx of 1. Because whenever you the fun, in plus sign in this form, you have to differentiate each and every term. Whenever the equation is in plus or minus form, you have to differentiate each and every terms. What is the differentiation of x with respect to x1? Okay, d by dx of x is 1. Just remember, because it is d by dx of x means d by dx of x to the power 1. That's equal to 1 into x raised to 1 minus 1. 1 into x raised to 0. That is 1 into x raised to 0 is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. Uh, 1 plus 0 equals to 1. Mind that 1. I won't repeat anything. Because if you would like to hear it again, just re revise the video. Okay, revise the video again and again. Because, so here is the question of what? Uh, storage, uh, what it is. It requires more. If, if I am repeating unnecessary thing again and again, it requires more. What it is? Uh, MPs in your mobile term, it is more. What it is? Uh, internet is required. So simply, if you would like, uh, you are not understood any particular point, revise it again and again in your video. Okay. So it is x plus two into. What is the differentiation of x plus one? One minus x plus one into differentiation of x plus two is one again divided by x plus 2 similarly what is the differentiation of x plus 2 d by dx of x plus d by dx of 2 x differentiation is 1 and 2 differentiation constant 0 therefore it is 1 plus 0 like that only s plus 2 1 ok whole divided by x plus 2 the whole square ok now x plus 2 into 1 x plus 2 only minus of x plus 1 ok here minus multiplies to both x plus 1 uh, x plus 1 into 1 is x plus 1 a into 1 is a 1 is multiplicative identity therefore x plus 1 into 1 is x plus 1 and minus of x plus 1 means minus x minus 1 therefore I simplify the numerator it is x plus 2 minus of x plus 1 x plus 2 1 into 1 is x plus 2 divided by this x plus 2 the whole square is equals to x of cancelling 2 minus 1 minus of plus x is minus 6 minus of plus 1 is minus 1 minus multiplies to both the terms ok it is 2 minus 1 means 1 upon 1 x plus 2 the whole square that is the differential coefficient of x plus 1 upon x plus 2 when it is differentiated with respect to x ok one more we will just take second one d by dx of x square upon sin x just for understanding sake so x square upon sin x here u is x square and v is sin x ok now just apply the formula for now for that's equal to all divided by sin x the whole square formula sin x the whole square in the denominator denominator the whole square in the numerator denominator into d by dx of numerator x square minus numerator 
a to d by dx of sin x. Okay. Now we have to differentiate x square and we have to differentiate sin x. x square means 2 into x raised to 2 minus 1. x raised to n differentiation. Sin x differentiation is cos x. That's equal to sin x into differentiation of x square is 2x. Is it necessary to write 2x raised to 2 minus 1? Ah, minus x square into differentiation of sin x is cos x. Now, wherever d by dx is there in front of what term is there, that is to be differentiated this sin x and this x square as it is left of sin x where d by dx left of d by dx whatever is there in the quotient formula that is to be kept as it is okay only d by dx of x square is to be taken that is 2x raised to 2 minus 1 x raised to n differentiation n into x raised to n minus 1 and d by dx of sin x is cos x whole divided by sin square x sin x the whole square can be written as sin square x in trigonometry sin x whole raised to n is sin raised to n x any trigonometry function raised to n is cos theta raised to theta by 2 that should be taken just before of theta cos raised to theta by 2 theta ok then raised to n n, n may be any real number then raised to n just comes just before the angle x of theta whatever be the n ok therefore it is now 2x raised to 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 x raised to 1 is x now write on the energy first I told a numerical coefficient should be written then the variable then any other function like trigonometric etc are to be taken this is the, this is the systematic way of writing a term first sign plus or minus here it is plus then numbers then any new alphabetical constants are there a b c d if it is there that should be taken that is to be taken here alphabetical constants are not there now variable x then the functions like sin x, log x, etc. Okay, x square cos x whole divided by sin square x. This is the quotient formula. Just try to understand this quotient formula because in second year syllabus we are getting quotient formula frequently in differentiation and in related differentiation related topics. Okay. Uh, now coming to one more formula. Okay, d by dx so, of d by dx of cos x upon sin k uh, necessary quotient formula is necessary just uh, think and tell me here numerator is cos x having the variable x means it is a function of x so denominator sin k it is not having the variable x and k is constant as k is constant sin k is also constant Therefore, here quotient formula is not necessary. Even though it is in ratio or it is in the division form, the given function, but what is not necessary? Quotient formula is not necessary. Sin k is constant, is a constant. Okay, sin k is a constant. Because as k is constant, then sin k is also constant. That's called constant function. Therefore, so here apply, here we have to apply the rule of differentiation of constant into function that's equals to constant outside differentiation of function what is the constant here cos x k for cos x which one is multiplied so 1 by sin k is multiplied the constant is not simply here it is sin k 1 upon sin k therefore 1 upon sin k into d by d so cos x and the cos x differentiation now when that is the what it is, one point you have to remember, whenever d by dx is there, you have to differentiate the term which contains x, okay. These are all the simply lay explanations. Huh? So, even though cos x is not there, cos y, the y is also variable, then you should not treat it as a constant. In that case, you have to take some chain rule that we will learn in the next stage. If it is a constant, constant of any type, alphabetical constant, numerical constant or constant function like sin a, cos, cos b etc. These are all the constant functions. Those constants are to be taken outside the e by dx. Okay, now it is 1 upon sin k into differentiation of cos x but the differentiation of cos x minus sin x. Therefore, now 1 into minus sin x is minus sin x upon sin k. That's all. 
Okay, that's why we are applying the quotient formula. Both numerator and denominator should be the function of x. Either numerator is constant or denominator is constant, then quotient formula is not necessary. Within the formula of differentiation, that is differentiation of constant into function is equal to constant outside into differentiation of function. That concept is to be taken when there is a product of a constant into function. Okay. Uh, now coming to the second year syllabus. Let us take the second year syllabus. So, first of all, let us try to understand what is composite function. Now, I will start the second year syllabus. Second year syllabus starts with differentiation of composite function. It starts with what? Differentiation of composite function. Differentiation of composite function. Differentiation of composite function composite function in sector relation and function we have studied what is composite function ok so once again I will explain here is the set A here is the set B and here is the set C and in the set A the elements are H denoted by X here is Y the set B in the element of the set C or J set. Okay. Suppose X is mapping with Y by function F and Y is mapping with a rule, rule means function by a rule called G. And now X is can be directly related with Z by a function. That function is called G of F. Okay. G of F. Of means bracket. So G of F. Okay. G of f, we can uh, write like this, g of f of x is equal to z, ok, x relates with z by the rule g of f of x, what is the g of f of x, x relates with z, x relates with z, therefore it is g of f of x is equal to z, this one can be written as bracket, g in mathematics of means bracket, G in bracket f of x is equal to g. Okay. The, this is called composite function. So g of f of x is equal to j. For example, you can try to understand one simple example. Suppose g is cos rule. G is cos x rule. G of x is cos x. One one g of x is cos x. This function is cos function. This function is cos function. And f of x is sin x. This function is sin function set. Then g of f of x can be written as then g of f of x can be written as g means what it is cos. It should not be taken here. This g of x is cos x. Only g means cos is to be taken. What is the f of x? Sin x. Okay. G of f of x is equal to cos of sin x. It is a composite function. Okay. Sin cos x and sin x are try to understand. Cos x ends with x, sin x ends with the variable x are the simple function or single functions. But here g of f of x, only one x is there. But two rules are there. We have g and f. Cos of sin x. Therefore, it is a composite function. Here cos x sin x is there. Suppose cos x sin x. Then it is two terms in the product form. It is not a composite function. But look here. Cos x sin x. Cos x into sin x. It is not a composite function because look here x is there means it is a term. It is a factor. It is a factor. Two factors are in the product form. It is two factors in the product form. It is a u into a form, not a composite function. Okay. Look at the composite function nature. Here ultimately the variable is represented once. Cos sin x. G of x is not there. Only g that is cos f of x that is sin x. Okay, so here cos x into sin x is there. It is not a composite function because here is the variable are in between g only, not g of x. Here it is only g means only cos and f of x. Therefore, g means only cos f of x means sin x. 
cos of sin. So while reading, we are reading like this of. That is the composite function. Log of x square. Sin of x square plus x plus 1. Tan of 2x plus 3. These are all while reading, we are reading it as of. While reading, we are using the word of, then it, it can be treated as a composite function. For example, some more composite functions are both confused. The composite function and the product formula cos x into sin x, it is not a composite function. So, because it is into, we are using, means it is in the product form, you will do it. But cos of sin x, of we are using, that is a composite function. Function of the function, two functions are involved in it. One is cos function, another one is sin function. Only variable, uh, it ends with a single, once variable x will appear only once. But here it is cos x sin x. Variable appear twice x here x. Therefore, it is not a composite function in the product formula. But cos of sin x. So, so here it is variable it only once it is used, and there are two functions are used. Both are denominated, but one is cos, one is sin. It is a mixture of two functions. Therefore, it is called composite function. For example, for example, it is x square plus 2x plus 5. You can call it as a simple function. Okay. So we can differentiate it directly. x square differentiation is 2x. 2x differentiation 2 into 1, 2 plus 5 differentiation is 0. But it is whole raised to 4. This is of the category of f of x raised to n. Okay. It is of the category of what? f of x raised to n. Here n is 4 and the function f of x is what? n is 4, f of x is x square plus 2x plus 5. It is a composite function. Okay, first one. Second one is log of x square plus 2x plus 3. It is a composite function. Here, log is a function. x square plus 2x plus 3 is a polynomial function. Log is a magazine function. So here it is f is log, g is x square plus 2x plus 3. So it is in the form of f of g x. Okay of g of x and another one tan of e raised to x so it is also a composite function because tan is one function and e raised to x tan is the denominator function e raised to x is the exponential function this tan of e raised to x suppose tan is taken as g e raised to x is taken as uh, f of x then it is in the form of g of of means bracket f of x try to understand what you mean by composite function Okay, so two functions are involved, but two functions are involved in the form of g of f of x or f of g of x. Of means bracket. Okay, so always they are later on once you are understood, no need of writing the bracket also. So, for example, it is sine of cos x, no need of bracket. So, simply once you are well versed, sine of cos x is understood, it is sine of cos x. So these are all what composite functions. Let us try to understand how to differentiate the composite function. Actually, it is very simple. Once you know the basic form of differentiation of a simple function, d by dx of sin x is cos x d by dx of x raised to n is n into x raised to n minus 1. So on the basis of those basic formula of differentiation, we can differentiate the composite functions also. Okay.